Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Exodus 35 verses 20 to 29. Here's the word of God. Then all the congregation of the people of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. And they came, everyone whose heart steered him, and everyone whose spirit moved him, and brought the Lord's contribution to be used for the tent of meeting and for all its service and for all for the holy garments. So they came, both men and women, all who were of a willing heart, brought brooches and earrings and signet rings and armlets, all sorts of gold objects, every man dedicating an offering of gold to the Lord, and everyone who possessed blue or purple or scarlet yarns or fine linens or goats, hair or tanned ram skins or goat skins brought them. Everyone who could make a contribution of silver or bronze brought it as the Lord's contribution. And everyone who possessed acacia wood of any use in the work brought it. And every skillful woman spun with her hands, and they all brought what they had spun in blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twined linen. All the women whose hearts steered them to use their skills spun the goat's hair. And the leaders brought onyx stones and stones to be set for the ephod and for the breast piece and spices and oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense. All the men and women, the people of Israel, whose heart moved them to bring anything for the work that the Lord had commanded by Moses to be done, brought it as a free will offering to the Lord. Exodus 35, 20 to 29. Here's my poem. Free will offering to the Lord. When your heart is stirred to offer what you have, remember that it is the Lord that gave you that gift. When you give from your heart, you are mirroring God. Generosity is a work of the Spirit, so you can praise the Lord. Here's my essay. This account shows us the work of the Spirit in the hearts of the people of God. On our own, we are selfish by nature. Only the Spirit can steer us to do otherwise. When we are given situations that remind us that we need to share or give something that what that we have God's Spirit whispers to our hearts that we are given an opportunity to praise our generous God this is clearly the work of the Holy Spirit we can never boast that it came from us it all comes from the Lord who is a generous God reflection why is it important to listen and do as you are prodded by the Holy Spirit to give uh, <clears throat> when we do not have the habit of uh, listening to the prodding of the Holy Spirit in um, giving away something that we have for the benefit of somebody so that God will be glorified, we are going to not do it because if we don't listen, we won't do a thing. So it's important for us to listen, but at the same time, it's also important for us to do what we hear. Once we listen to the prodding of the Holy Spirit, He will be more alive in our hearts. And whenever we, He is alive in our hearts, we are able to discern what the will of God is. And so when we... Um, given to the prodding of the Holy Spirit for generosity, then it, it becomes second nature for us to be generous, to give, because God, gave, God made us in His image and He's a generous God, so we all have a capacity to be generous. Um, when we are selfish, that is our nature, but when we are generous, that is the Holy Spirit prodding us to do the, the likeness of God. So it's important for us to recognize that as we hear what God wants us to do, we also should do what is required of us to do. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos to give you the Word of God. If you haven't already, check over 3,000 videos I've done over the years I've been doing this daily. And uh, just type on Google or YouTube search, Ilma's Poem Devotional. Have a wonderful day.